I am pretty terrible at this game, it seems. Or maybe Trump is just ridiculously popular. Oh my god, this is infuriating. What's going on, everyone? It's me, Best Mug Rambler here. My little chonker. And today, we're playing The Political Machine 2020. Woo! That's right, we're going to be trying to become President of the USA. Uh, now, I've actually played the 2012 version and the 2016 version. I guess every new election, Stardock releases a new version. Uh, this one has mixed reviews, so I'm not sure how it's going to go. And it looks like there's a Drew Durnil mode. There's an AI versus AI. Huh. Now, I'm going to let the AI battle it out first, and then I'm going to play and see if I can do any better. So we're going to do AI. I guess this is the first one. Then we're going to have Al Gore. Because it's going to be Al Gore versus Trump. Uh, so Al Gore lost the 2000 election. But he's come back 20 years later to try try, try for it again, haven't you, Al? And we're going to go against uh, the incumbent, Mr. Trump. Uh, so each, each candidate kind of flies around in their various planes and states. And, and, they, and they each try and get votes so you can see like the blue states are probably going to side with the democrats and then you also have like the gray states which are which could go either way and the red states which kind of seem republican and if we look at the poll at the moment it's looking like trump is gonna win by quite a margin obviously a lot could change we're only in week three out of 21 on the campaign trail trump and al gore both spending some time in california it looks like florida could actually go the way of the democrats okay most of the southern states are very firmly Republican. Of course, we have like the north, um, east over here. That's probably going to go mainly for Democrats, as per usual. Polls are getting closer between Al Gore and Trump. It's going to be a very tight election. It's any man's game, because a woman isn't running. So, sorry everyone, it's just two old white men again. Oh, I should obviously say that this is obviously a very topical uh, video. Anything I say is just said in jest. Please don't get offended if I add in a little joke here and there, please. I know some of you will probably get offended because this is a very sensitive topic, but hey-ho, what can you do? Oh, Donald Trump has thrown his full support behind deporting illegal aliens. Okay, and one thing that we do have in the polls, that they've actually, I guess they've patched in, stopping the uh, this. I don't know if I'm allowed to say what it is anymore. I think you can monetize this word now, but I can't risk it. <laughs> but we all know what's happening in the world in the global pandemic. Uh, but yes, it looks like... Oh, well, I think we all knew about that. That's something that he's done a lot anyway. Selective immigration, that's going to appeal to a lot of Republicans, I would imagine. Florida appears to be a swing state now. So is Mississippi. So is North Carolina. Trump's doing some speeches. He's still spending a lot of time in California. Gore's running mate is Hillary Clinton. Who's Trump's? Rand Paul. Oh, quite a controversial mix here. But we're halfway through the election and it's looking like Al Gore's going to get a lot more electoral votes. So we can see each candidate's political strategy. Uh, looks like Al is going for mainly the states which have a lot of seats. So we have like California, uh, like New Jersey, New York. Uh, the two that he's going to lose, it looks like it's going to be Florida and Texas. So if he secured these, then I think he'd be doing all right. Actually... If we go, he looks like he's going to secure Florida. It's just Texas, which has 38 uh, seats that he might miss out on. Donald Trump has thrown his full support behind America first. Okay. Oh, we can also see the various state wealth. Ooh. California is quite rich. If we double click on the state, we can see uh, that why is Al Gore winning? Well, it's California. I think they pretty much all always go Democrat, right? And they very much like... His st Al Gore's stance on the environment, climate change, stopping the virus, supporting LGBTQ rights, and they don't support building the wall. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a lot of states are swing states at the moment. There's only like a couple of percentage in it. So these ones could go any way. Like Florida's 49-49 now. Oh, wow. I noticed like a lot of the candidates are going to like places like Colorado or Wyoming. Oh, okay, Al. Okay. And Utah, like, these states are firmly, like, at least Texas, 60% Republican. Ho oh, ho moly. So it's week 18 out of 21, and it's 47% of people are going to vote Democrat and 46 Republican, and there's a 7%. Ooh. Oh, and it's looking like Trump in the polls has surged ahead. For a long time, it was like 350 electoral votes in the rest for Trump. But now Trump's turned it around. This is any... 
any person's game. It's going to be decided in the last three weeks. Oh my gosh. Come on, Al. Oh, wow. Okay. Florida has turned. I think this might go the way Trump might be re-elected at this stage. Just look up here. 47-47. I think it's time for the election. Oh no, this is the final week. And Florida's now a swing state again. Oh my giddily goo. No, no, back to... Oh, I have no idea. I'm. I, it could go anyway. It looks like Trump could win. But all of these states are going Democrat as we predicted. Oh, oh, who was that? Okay, it's looking like... Oh, Florida did go for Trump. Oh, yeah, Al's losing in a lot of swing states. Trump is surging ahead with the votes now. Like, he's going to have to do... Yeah. Wow. Come on. Like, this isn't even a fight at the moment. It's just Trump. But Trump's got a 100-seat lead now. That's crazy. If he secures Texas, he's got enough seats. Yep. Yep. Al cannot get enough seats now. Wow. So Al and Hillary could not do it together. Well, there we go. Trump has won in the AI battle. Gore defeated. Although appealing to a majority of voters failed enough <laughs> to get enough Garner support for the Electoral College. Gore lost even though he used more ideological points. Gore spent more money than Trump. Ow. You can see like, the amount of states that went for Trump. Wow. If we go on the exit polls, electoral votes. Yeah. Although, like, it... it, it, it wow. Let's see if I can do any better, shall we? Let's do a rematch. I'm going to be the Democrat of Al Gore. And we're going to go up against Monsieur trump -a rooney In fact, actually, can we go back? I didn't even look at our various traits, so we, we should do that first. So, like, you could you could be Joe Biden, but you'll be very sleepy. Uh, you could be Alexandra Cortez, but you're apparently dim. <laughs> My gosh. Uh, a massive comet. Could be Elizabeth Warren. She's fairly uh, normal, like, she's got n no terrible traits. Hillary Clinton is a cold fish. <laughs> Michael Bloomberg it has little appeal for the minorities. Wow. Yep. Okay. This is. I, uh, and then Al Gore. He's he's got active stamina. Uh, he's typical charisma. He's uh, fairly intelligent. He's liked by the media. He's got experience. He has some uh, minority appeal, and he's a tycoon. And then we have Trump, who is loathed by the media. Oh, we could have Jeb. Oh, good old Jeb. He's a cold fish and sleepy. <laughs> Mitt Romney, a cold fish and hasn't got any pill to minorities. Wow, I would be surprised if this video is monetized. Or oh, you could create your own candidate as well, but I'm not going to do that today. Yeah, like I've, I've never heard of Barry. I've heard of Rand. I've heard of Mitt. I've heard of Mike, obviously. 21 weeks. That's how long Al Gore and Donald Trump will have to convince the voters of their support. Okay. So, first thing I'm going to try and do is secure Florida. So, we're going to build a, a headquarters in Florida, which gives us a slight enthusiasm bonus. Boom. Then I think I'm going to hold an early speech, uh, such as protecting social security, and uh, that raises appeal across all parties. It's a bipartisan speech, and then I think that's all I can probably do. I could try and go to another state for next time, uh, such as I think I'm always going to be okay in California. We'll have to keep an eye on that, but Texas. I might try and turn Texas. It might be a complete waste of money. But we can try. So we're going to build a headquarters here. And I'm going to see if I can hold a speech. Stopping the virus in in Texas. That's going to help us a little bit. And I've hired a spin doctor, which will increase my issue ratings by 25% in target state. So I'm going to try and turn Texas over to me. And it's, and it's working because now it's 43 to 45%. And then I could fly somewhere else. Uh, so let's actually fly over here, and we can see the question mark. Whee! Look at me! What Gore thought would be a lucrative dinner with a wealthy donor turned out to be a disaster! Oh no! But that's fine, we're running out of stamina anyway. That's what she said. Okay, so I can visit this to get ideology points. Then we can pick our ideology. Uh, so I could do... I could endorse gun control, I could endorse protecting the environment. I will endorse education. People will like that, right? I can create an ad in Kentucky. I will support reducing wealth inequality. Uh, opponent opposes. Yes. No. I don't want to raise that. So we're not trying to get too many Republican votes in Kentucky. I reckon if I place that ad, it might do okay. And then we've got a question mark over in Oregon. Off we go. Let's go have a party. It turns out to be a oh, popular local celebrity. is a big fan of Gore. 
Thank you. So, we're in week three, and it's looking like I'm going to win. <laughs> a lot could change, though, obviously. Okay, so let's go over to Michigan. See if we can't build a, uh, a headquarters here. And then I'll give a speech. Such as fixing the roads. Yes. It gets very cold in Oregon, which damages the roads. Let's fix them. Okay, so I need to go to the town hall and get myself some stamina. Or, no, it's not stamina, sorry. Uh, protecting the environment. Boom. Oh, Texas is, is, isn't going my way just yet. So, like, these states, like Georgia and Alabama, I can afford to lose if I secure somewhere like Texas. So I'm going to spend a bit more time down here. Let's upgrade my HQ in Texas. Ah! Al Gore takes an early lead. Thank you. Trump, go away. He's trying to secure California. I better go over to California and combat him. I support the environment, California. And I'm going to hold a speech about addressing climate change. Oh, or just the environment. Just the general... It's, it's, it seems like quite easy just to uh, appeal to more than one group. I'm probably going to stay in California and try and do a fundraising effort. You've been invited to appear on Good Day. Sure. Hello. I've got to talk about the uh, the virus. I would say don't panic and listen to our experts. But you'd be president. Isn't that you? No. I would draw plans from our public health officials. There we go. Yes, people are liking it. Hmm. Would I be in favour of raising the minimum wage? I would say absolutely I would. That's a good question. Aren't most minimum wage jobs meant for teenagers? In theory, yes, but that's not the reality. I do hate you, teenagers. <laughs> I am trying to win, though. I am trying to win. Mm -hmm. I think we did okay. <sighs> I win some independent votes. Nice. Okay, let's do a fundraiser in California. Nice. Definitely going to have to go down to Texas again. Hold another speech. Fun NASA. Texas will be the clincher, I think. Oh, everyone likes building the wall in Texas. All right, sure. And now I think I'm going to fly up to New York because that's... Oh my gosh, that's contested. No, 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 no. Not for long. Stop the virus in New York. People like that. Support me. Let's do a fundraiser. Noish. So a really easy way to just uh, win over votes is just to say you support uh, the treatment of uh, the, the virus. Uh, okay. Fully armed and operational in Texas. I'm really trying to secure Texas. It might, like, our enthusiasm in this state is in, is crazy high. Yeah. So people like that I'm doing all of this. Uh, 46 to 49%. That's frustrating. Can I do, I'm going to try and do something else while I'm in there. Oh, we've got to pick our running mate. I need someone with good charisma cause, because mine is just meh, right? Do you know what? Let's bring in Alexandria Cortez because, like, her minority appeal is off the charts. So although she's apparently dim, she is also liked by the media, has hyper-stamina and magnetic uh, charisma. So the young voters might like her. Everyone loves the fossil fuel industry, even Democrats in Texas. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess that's pretty uh, apparent. Oh, if I go over to North Carolina, I might be able to actually get that state. Okay, Ohio might be worth spending some time in. Oh my gosh, I'm actually a bit nervous. I'm getting nervous. Pennsylvania. I really need to secure Pennsylvania. That's 20 seats. Oh, so who does Trump have as his running mate? Barry Goldwater. Okay, Pennsylvania. Let's let's do some... Talk about blue-collar jobs. I support blue-collar jobs. Yes, I do. Texas, I don't think is going to go my way. I've spent way too much time and resources down there. Florida is going my way, though. Nice. And in the polls, I'm still winning. I support good jobs. See, I'm not insulting my opponent in any way. I'm just trying to appeal to the masses based on my own charisma. Because I have a lot of that, don't I, YouTube? I might be worth trying to spend a bit of time in Minnesota. Just get a campaign HQ. Oh, Gore's winning edge shows no signs of dulling. Ha ha! Good. Oh, we've been invited on Tarkin, Tucker Carson. Rural America is dying, malls are closing, and the threat of all formation lose over the middle class. But hey, at least TV ads are cheap. I'm Tucker Carson. Okay. <laughs> The government wastes billions of dollars. That's why I hate seeing the government being put in charge of anything. The government helps Americans. Hmm. Uh-huh. What are you going to do about the deficit? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Every American, we need to slash spending. Sure. That probably goes against Al Gore's beliefs, but oh, no, people don't like that. Call rally's base. Voters pleased with showing on Tucker Carson. Farm subsidies. Yes. That'll secure it in Minnesota. See, you can just you can just tell these people things and then and then just not bother with them. You're kind of off your game right now. 
Oh no. Your last fundraiser you managed to compliment a non-pregnant woman for being pregnant and greeted a pair of men as a father and son when they're actually a couple. Oh dear. So far Cortez hasn't actually moved. She's just stayed there the whole time. I'm the only one doing anything and it's quite concerning. I'm going to say that Trump opposes blue collar jobs. Okay, let's go to North Carolina and, and try and give another speech. It's really getting tight. Trump has made a comeback. Ah, oh, candidates push for last minute votes. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Oh, no. We have five ideology points, and I can't really spend any of them. That's that a waste a waste of a flight. Oh, my God. I've actually messed it up. Like, Cortez has just stayed here the entire time. Like, she won't move. Okay, I might have to spend my last time in Pennsylvania. Oh, gosh. This is so nerve-wracking. I've lost, I've lost in the north on a few states I really shouldn't have done. Oh, yes, come on. Oh, yes, 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 we got it. Okay. I think we... M Come on, Florida. Oh, Florida's really helped. I've obviously gonna, I'm obviously going to lose Texas. And a lot of these states I was expecting to do okay and I haven't actually done all right. Uh, come on. Yes. Like, I know a lot of these places are going to go for Trump. Oh, come on, I just want to win. Okay, Trump is now in the lead. Oh, no, have I messed this up? It's going to come down to, I think, California. Did I lose? Oh, my God! But everyone liked me. I can't let this stand. Oh, my God, I'm losing in New York. I am pretty terrible at this game, it seems. Or maybe Trump is just ridiculously popular. Okay, uh, should we be more grateful? Um... America has let down young people. We need to be worthy of that respect. Boom. Would I be in favour of raising minimum wage? E absolutely. Like, I'm losing in California. Like, it's just ridiculous. Okay, I'll, in I'll fully endorse higher minimum wage. And while I'm in, I'll hold a speech in California supporting the environment. That's all we needed down there, I think. Uh, in fact, what's, what's this person? The cheerleader. I'll send my fixer to eliminate the operative. Goodbye. Fly over and get this event. An evening wasted. Balls. Pick my running mate. I'm still gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna double down. And Cortez is actually doing some speeches this time. Whereas last time she was just staying in Connecticut, which was a bit weird. Yeah, all of the Midwest is gonna go for Trump. I'm gonna try and spend a bit more time in Wisconsin so people like me here. If I hold a speech about good jobs. Let's appear on Tucker Carson. Core alienates base. Whoops. Oh Ohio is a Major swing state, so I'm gonna have to do 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 jobs. Is there anything about jobs? Come on, blue collar jobs. Everyone likes that. Oh, I just got a donation of five hundred thousand. Thank you. Still not gonna spend any money there. Wisconsin, I might be able to grab. Ohio might go my way. I can't win Indiana, Kentucky. I've lost it again. I don't know how to win this game. Oh, oh my god! I managed to win in Florida. That is a surprise. I mean, it's not gonna change the fact that I've lost this election again. Like, I, I put so much effort into a lot of these states, and it's just not paid off. Uh, except there. Yeah, the Midwest, although individually they don't have a lot of seats, I guess combined it's 283. Yeah, I've lost. Damn! I am going to do this again. <laughs> I just need to win once, and then, I, then I'll be satisfied. I will once again go as Al Gore <laughs> against Trump. I want to secure Florida. I'm just going to forget Texas. And they hired a spin doctor, so I'm going to get a fixer to eliminate them. Oh, it turns out that a local celebrity is a big fan of gore. Vermont might be mine. Huzzah! I need to get some ideologies going because I'm even lacking behind. Is that is that lacking behind in California? Oh, my God. Yeah, so all of the Dakotas, Wyoming's, I'm always going to lose. New Mexico I might win, so that's that might be worth a few points. It's worth spending a... Time to build a headquarters at least. And I think then I'll have to fly down. Like, it's going to be decided on the East Coast, such as Michigan, Wisconsin. Okay, so what has the best national importance and voter enthusiasm? Social justice. There we go. I keep running out of funds. I can't really do a lot of campaigning. And Cortez has frozen in her state again. So I I'm, I'm think I'm screwed. Uh, higher minimum wage, I think. Or this is reducing wealth inequality. So I'll endorse that. I think some of these states we're just going to lose in regardless. And it's going to be very tight again. Is that Florida we're going to lose? 
Yeah, and now it's looking like Trump's going to win again. <laughs> what do I need to do to win? A major war erupts overseas. Oh dear. It's looking like I'm going to lose again. Um, if I can secure a couple of states this turn, I might have a chance. Oh, shh. It's just by a couple of states every time. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to win. Oh my god, this is infuriating. Do, 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 do. I think I'm doing a bit better this time at the moment, but we're only halfway through, and this is where it usually all falls apart, and oh my god, I can't handle this anymore. Uh, pick my running mate. Do I pick the poor person again? Or someone... Uh, sh shall I try it with Warren and see if I can win with Warren? <laughs> oh, gosh. And who's Trump's running mate? Please clap. Jeb? Jeb? Oh, come on. We have to beat Jeb. Uh, it's still looking okay at the moment. Over halfway through. California's contested. Aye, aye, aye. California, I really need your votes. Can you imagine if I lose California? That would be horrific. Okay, ideology. I can get another point. I don't want to give any enthusiasm to Trump, though. That's what's frustrating. So I will... I guess I'll do education, because I, I can't give... I Plus one... Issue... Oh, I think I've lost a lot of voters down in Florida thanks to Trump's uh, new speech that he's that he's going to do America first. That's that's killed me in Florida. I've spent so much time and money there. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get that back. Yeah, let's abandon that. Let's go to some swing states that I can actually do some good in. It's got really tight again. I can't handle this. I can't handle it, man. It comes down to the wire, so let's see. Do I have enough? I don't have enough. I've wasted that. Uh, we're going to lose Ohio. We might hold on to Michigan. Indiana we're going to lose, it's looking like. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, let's go down there and try and do one more. Push. Ah, did I do enough this time? I have no idea. Ah, oh, come on, come on. Oh yes, go my way. Oh, oh no. Was it Elizabeth Warren and Al Gore going to be the dream team? Oh no. Oh my god, I got I got I got a couple of states in the Midwest. Well, ish. This is the killer. Yep. Yep. We're even Stevens now. I'm still ahead. I just need to hold on to the west and then if I get California, I think I've done it. Yes. 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 Oh my god. Oh, we finally done it. We finally done it. Oh, there we go. And on that bombshell, that's where I will leave you. This took way longer than I'd anticipated, but if you've enjoyed the video, please do comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll be back very soon. Toodaloo. Please clap. Many thanks to Onion Duck, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Fat Boston, Zechariah Mosby, Warren P. George, Gregory Craven, Adave, The Don, Lambert, Valhalla Halls, Goosey Dibs, Yeah Boy, Wombat Cookie, Dath Alcon, Ryan Koch, Jack Troku, Aiden Shear, Jiggly Crotch, Use Beef, Sean Young, and Logan Whaley for being ridiculous random supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too!